and we'll get going. We're going to keep this to 30 minutes. So that's something I struggle with. I'm not going to talk a whole lot at the beginning. We're just going to get started. So find yourself in a comfortable seat, um, cross-legged or kneeling, whatever works best for you. Close your eyes and just bring your awareness to your breath. Then bring your hands to your rib cage, either outside your rib cage, just to either side, right hand on right low ribs, left hand on left low ribs, or you can cross your arms, kind of give yourself a hug and reach around. But really invite your breath into those low ribs. And think about expanding in all directions as you inhale consciously through your nose. And exhale through your nose. And let's find a four count rhythm to our breath here. So just take an exhale with me. We'll exhale together. And then inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four. Just keep going with that rhythm. You can let go of your arms, the feedback of your arms, and just take three more breaths. And let this really feel nourishing. If you find the um, pause being really um, tension bringing, just let yourself let go of that pause and just relax and let your breath move fluidly. You can keep your eyes closed or just let them softly open. We're just gonna shrug our shoulders up toward our ears and then drop our shoulders down. Just Think about moving from your shoulder blades, really elevating those scapula, your shoulder blades, and then really dropping them down. Do that a couple more times. Now lift them up and see if you can draw them closer to each other. Let them come down and then let them come apart as you raise your shoulders up and then come together, lower your shoulders down, just circles here with your shoulder blades and your back. And then see if you can switch directions with your shoulder blades wide, lower them down, draw them together and come up. And I feel some kind of grainy, gritty stuff happening in my right shoulder. That's all totally normal. And then go ahead and pause with that shoulder move, movement and just drop your chin toward your chest. 
Rock your left ear towards your left shoulder. Come back through center. Rock your right ear towards your right shoulder. Left ear toward left shoulder. And then you can let yourself go in a full circle if that feels okay in your neck. Lift your chin up. And come back to center and go the other direction. And come back to center. And this time, turn your chin to the left, look to the left. And then you can let your chin raise. Go around, look to the right. And come back through center. And switch directions, look to your right. And then you can turn your chin up toward the ceiling. Look to your left. And then chin down. And bring your head back up to center. Just reach your right arm away from you. Let your palm face forward. Drop your left ear toward your left shoulder. Just kind of find that line there. You can lift and lower that arm just a little bit. Find a line that feels um, interesting. And then curl your pinky finger in towards your palm and then your ring finger and then your middle finger and then your pointer finger and then just fold the thumb over the edge of that and then aim your thumb toward the floor. Kind of get a nice nerve glide there. Bring your head back up to center and then drop that right hand to the floor lengthen your left arm up alongside your ear find a side bend on this side and then bend your left elbow and bring it towards your rib cage and then reach back up and then you can kind of switch your reach here so every time bend your elbow and bring it down but then maybe reach that left arm across you and pull it back maybe reach kind of behind you and pull it back just dynamically kind of get into this um, reach. Just find one more that feels interesting. And then come back up to center. Just switch the cross of your legs. The unusual one on top, on in front. And then drop your right ear toward your right shoulder and reach your left arm out, palm face forward. And you can kind of play with the height of that arm, just find an interesting line of tension there. And then curl pinky finger in, and then ring finger, and then middle finger, and then pointer finger, and then just fold that thumb over top and then aim that all at the floor. And lift your head back to center, plant that left hand and we'll do the same. Side bend on the other side, just reach that right arm up and then bend your elbow, draw that elbow towards your rib cage. And just let this be dynamic. You can find a little bit of twisting here, reaching. And find some space in that shoulder blade, just some opening in your heart. Just one or two more reaches there. And come back up to center. We'll make our way to our backs. So come down onto your back. Move your prop out of the way if you're sitting on something. And just bring your knees up so they're in a 90 degree angle and just push your hands into the fronts of your thighs. And just with all your might, push your hands into your thighs, thighs into your hand. Keep that left thigh and left hand engaged into each other and just lengthen your right leg away from you and your right arm above your head. And then come back to center, find that resistance and then left leg and left arm reach. Find the natural curves of your spine. So you've got a natural curve under your lower back, back of your pelvis is on the floor and we're just going back and forth here. Low ribs are on the floor, back of your head is on the floor and just breathe naturally here. And just find support through your center. Let's do one more on each side. All right. And then left. And then release that effort, bring your feet to the floor. 
draw your shoulder blades together and just lift up into a bridge and then lower down we'll just do three dynamic bridges here you can use your arms too it can feel good just sweep arms overhead and sweep them back down as you lower and it doesn't need to be far last one Let those hips come down. Just reach your arms up and your legs 90 degrees. We're going to roll to the left side here in our dead bug. And just straighten your right leg straight out. And then turn your toes up toward the ceiling and then toward the floor. So flex through that ankle. And we're just externally rotating that leg from the hip and internally rotating. External, internal. Let's do that one more time. And then bend that right knee. Bring your right knee up towards your chest and then externally rotate that leg, point your knee up toward the ceiling. And then lift your heel up behind you, internally rotate that leg and then find hip extension here. Really engage through your glute and push that right heel behind you and then bring it back into center and then switch directions. Push your heel back behind you and then lift your knee up toward the ceiling. And try to keep your pelvis pretty stable and then bring that knee back to center. Bring your knee up and then you're gonna lift your heel, internally rotate that leg and then reach your heel back behind you. Engage through your glute and extend that hip as far as you can. So getting rid of any hip folds there, knee back into chest, push it back, knee towards ceiling, and back to where you started. And then just take this dead bug back onto your back and then roll to your right. We'll do that same thing on the right side. So lengthen through your left leg, just let it be straight out in front of you. And just from your hip, you're gonna turn those left toes toward the ceiling and left toes toward the floor. So flex through that left ankle. So you're moving here just right at your hip. So your knee and your toes are pointing in the same direction. And just one more time, pointing those toes toward the ceiling, pointing them toward the floor and then bend your knee Bring that knee into your chest and then knee up toward the ceiling. Now don't lean back here. Try to keep your pelvis stacked. And now internally rotate that leg, lift your heel and then find hip extension. Push that left heel behind you. Get rid of any wrinkles in the front of that right hip. And then bring your knee back into your chest. Switch directions, push your heel back. Knee up toward the ceiling of towards your armpit and into your chest. Lift that knee up, internally rotate, lift your heel, and then send that heel back behind you, find your hip extension, knee into chest. Last time, push your heel back, extend through that hip, and then lift your knee toward the ceiling, bring it toward your armpit, into your belly, and then land. Right where you started, reach your arms up, back up onto your back, and then hug those knees into your chest. I'm gonna rock, either rock or roll into a table. So you can rock forward, you can roll to your side, but just come to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, bring those hands underneath your shoulders, and then Bring your hips back towards your heels of those tucked toes and lift your fingers and then rock forward and lift your palms. We're just gonna do this a few times getting into our wrists and feet. The last time, hips towards your heels, stretch through the bottoms of those feet, lift those fingers and then come up. 
Step your right foot outside of your right hand and then come up into a low lunge. Just a couple of shoulder circles here. So lift that left arm, internally rotate when you have to reach back and try to keep your rib cage upright. I really get my spine, my neck and everything into it unless I'm really thinking about it. So we're just going back and forth. Once we get back, just bring your hands to your heart, float up onto the right toes, push down into your left shin and just float that right foot up off the floor. And we're gonna bring it straight out to the right and land that right foot. So your heel is in line with your left knee. And then bring your right back of your hand inside that knee, reach your left arm up and we'll just find our stretch here. Really get into this ankle flexion. We've got external rotation of that right hip. You're flexing into that hip there. And just let yourself stretch. And then come on up, lengthen that right leg and toes point forward. And then find that external internal rotation here. So you're just gonna pivot on that heel, your knee and your toes will point the same direction in and up, back and forth. And then go ahead and ground that right foot, and ground your left hand and reach your right arm up and then alongside your ear, find a nice big side bend, float that right leg up off the floor. And reach up. And then maybe bend that right heel towards your bum. Really engage that glute so you find that hip extension. And then maybe reach for that foot. Kick your foot into your hand, hand into your foot. And then use your muscular strength of that hamstring to pull your heel in towards your bum. And try to keep your leg as it is as you release your arm. Oh, a hamstring cramp, <laughs> which is totally fine. Lengthen out, come on up. And then we'll turn back around and find our table again on the other side. This time push the floor away and spread your shoulder blades apart and then draw your shoulder blades together. So we're keeping our spine stable on just moving through the shoulder blades. So push the floor let your shoulder blades spread and then draw your shoulder blades together with straight arms. And push the floor away and draw them together. And now like we did when we were seated, you can find some circles. With those shoulder blades. And then find that protracted position. So shoulder blades wide, Rock your heart forward and then bend your elbows about an inch. Lower your heart down. Come back up and then come to neutral. Let's do that four more times. Rock forward, bend your elbows. And then you can play with maybe bending your elbows a little more. And finding the position of your hands that feels really stable. You can have a little more weight on that pinky edge. I lost count. <laughs> That's probably good. Was that four? Step your left foot outside your left hand and then come up into your low lunge, just 90 degrees. And find those circles with your right arm. Reach that thumb back, out and around. And then come back. Try to keep your whole rib cage forward. You might feel some little crunching and totally normal. Hands to your heart, come up onto those left toes. Push that right foot, just float that left foot up and then bring your foot over to the side in line with that right knee. Left hand inside that left knee, right arm out to the side and then bend deeply into that left knee and ankle. So. We're interested more in this knee flexion, ankle dorsiflexion than we are in side bend. 
or moving your spine. Let's get into it there. Let's do one more. And then lengthen that left leg out. I'll turn to face you. And then external, internal rotation of that left leg. So your knee and toes are pointing the exact same direction. This movement is coming, just pivoting from your hip. You're just finding some freedom there. And then ground that left foot, let your left hand come along your thigh. Reach, right arm up and over. And then swim that right hand down to the floor, fingertips or hand. Just open your left arm up. Engage through that right glute so you can kind of feel some support of that grounded leg. Externally rotate your right upper arm and then float that left leg up. You can stay here, bend that left knee, maybe reach back with your left hand and then push your foot into your hand, hand into your foot. And then engage through that hamstring. Try to draw your heel closer to your bum with your muscular strength of your hamstring and then let go of your hand, just keep it there. And then lengthen that leg out, come back into your table. Make your way to downward facing dog. You can walk it out here and just kind of check into your body, how you're feeling. We'll move into a high lunge with the right foot forward. So you can bring your knees down and step forward, or you can just take that right foot and step it forward. Left heel lifts and then come on up. Reach your arms high and feel that foundation through your feet. Push into that left big toe ball mound, reach. Then we'll reach our left arm forward, right arm back and find a big open twist. Bend into that left knee and then just tilt that right hand back toward your left heel. And then come back upright, straighten your left leg. Left hand comes to the floor, right arm reaches up. You find a big open, easy twist here. We're gonna ground our left foot and open up into warrior two. So just cartwheel that left arm up and come into your warrior two. Bend into that right knee. Ground into that left heel. Inhale and reverse your warrior here. And then straighten that left, I mean that right leg. Draw your right outer hip back as you reach forward and find your triangle pose. And just breathe here. So you've got that external rotation of that right hip. Push down into your right big toe ball mount and then engage through that right glute. Lengthen from your left heel out through the crown of your head. And then come back up, find your warrior two. And then open your left toes out to the left, bend both knees. So you're in a high goddess squat. And kind of rock from side to side, open your arms up into a cactus and then cross your right elbow underneath your left. You can give yourself a big hug or bring the backs of your hands together or right fingers into that left palm. Draw your elbows away from you. Try to stack the back of your heart over the back of your pelvis. Maybe sit down, externally rotate, turn on those glutes, open your knees and then lengthen both legs, release your arms. Parallel your feet, hinge at your hips, come halfway forward. You can find a softness through your knees. Your hamstrings are turned on as you fold. And then you can bring your hands to the floor. Let's take one more round of breath here. Walk your hands over to the left. Turn those left toes to the left, lift your right heel. Set up for that high lunge on the other side. Push into that right heel to lift yourself up. Reach your arms high. Push into that right big toe ball mound. Engage through that right glute. 
And then big open twist, right arm forward, left arm back. And then bend into that right knee. It's just gonna hover above the floor and just lean that left hand back toward your right heel. Just a little lean, it's not big. And then bring your right hand to the floor, straighten that right leg, lift your left arm up. And then ground your right heel, rotate that heel grounded, cartwheel your arms up and out into your warrior two. And settle here. Drop your right hand, lift your left palm, stay committed to the bend in that front knee, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, straighten this left leg, draw that left outer hip back, reach forward and down in your triangle pose. And find that external rotation of that left hip. Push into your left big toe ball, now and engage that left glute. Push into your right heel, lengthen out through the crown of your head. Maybe look up. And then bend into that left knee, come on up to your warrior two. And then turn that right heel in. Toes out, heels in, come back into that goddess squat. Reach your arms forward. Left arm under right, shoulders away from your ears. You can just be giving yourself a hug or wrap all the way into eagle arms. Imagine you've got a wall behind you. Okay, you're pointing your tailbone toward the floor. The back of your pelvis, the back of your heart and the back of your head are on that wall. And then release your arm length and your legs parallel your feet and fold forward. You can bend one knee and then the other. Rocking from side to side. You can find stillness here. And find a sense of kind of turning your toes in a little bit. Your heels a little wider. Push your inner groin back. Lengthen through your spine. Find one more breath here. And then exhale your hands to your hips. Soften your knees. Come up to standing. Just toe heel your feet together. And we'll come down to a seat to finish. Lengthen your right leg out to the side and bring your left heel toward your pubic bone. Right hand comes inside that right knee and inhale, just lengthen that left arm alongside your ear. And then we'll come the other way. So in this left hand down and you can just plant it behind that left hip and just sweep your right arm up. You can stay there or you can roll onto this left shin, lift your hips and lengthen. I'm just gonna go back and forth. Left arm reaches to the right and plant that hand and then right arm reaches up and over. You can lift your hips or not. Let's just do one more cycle there. And this time find your side bend and then you can pivot your heart toward that right knee. Maybe reach that left hand to your outer right leg and aim that left rib cage toward that right inner thigh. Knee and toes are pointing straight up at the ceiling and let yourself lengthen through your lower back. So you don't need to have a super deep fold here. Just feel the integrity in the back of that right leg. Come on up and just switch sides. Right heel in, left leg out. Left hand inside that left leg. Reach your right arm up and over. And you know where we're going. Right hand grounds and swim that left hand long. So you just get this long line. You can rock onto that right shin if you want. 
And go back and forth a few times here. And this last time, as you come over that left leg, you can pause in the side bend, and then you can rotate your heart to face down, maybe reach that right hand outside your left leg. I'm just gonna take my left arm out to the left side of my leg. And really lengthen. Think about lengthening through your lower back sending your tailbone back behind you. And then come on up. Lengthen both legs just straight out in front of you and find as much of a bend in your knees as you need to. So you're kind of on the front of your sitting bones, okay? And then feel like you're dragging your heels towards your bum to bring yourself into a forward fold. Lengthening through your heart as you come forward, lengthening through the back chain of your body. And then go ahead and come on up. Just scoot your bum to the middle of your space, lower yourself down onto your back. Find any last movements, maybe a little twisting from side to side when she is a happy baby pose. Feet together, knees wide. Sounds good to me right now. I'm just going to rest hands on belly. And just let yourself rest. And relax. Find whatever feels supportive for you. So if you like to lay on props, find your props. And really let yourself get back to that four count breath. And you don't need to find any pauses. You can just inhale for four. And exhale for four. And let yourself stay here. Let yourself relax till you feel your heartbeat. Kind of slow down. Till your breath seems easy, till your face and your shoulders feel soft. Just really give your whole nervous system the information that you can move and you can be still. it to almost 30 minutes. And the divine light in me honors the divine light in you. I hope you have a beautiful day that you feel awake and alive. Namaste.